This episode of Film Riot's brought to you by TuneUp. Your music collection's a mess. TuneUp fixes it automatically. And Squarespace. Today on Film Riot, forget about it. Bam! Creative camera techniques. What else? None of your business. Pow! When is the dubbing contest? In the beginning, Adam bites the apple. In 1903, the first narrative film was made. In 93, Spielberg says, F you to evolution. And in 2009, Film Riot is released to the world. Want to be a filmmaker? Well, so do I. Let's figure it out. We're going to be following trying films from pre to post production as we make our latest short film tell. Along the way, we're going to be showing you how to accomplish great effects with little to no budget. And every now and again, we'll be jumping over to Full Sail University to get you advice from the pros. So grab some popcorn and get comfortable. This is Film Riot. Welcome to Film Riot, the show that takes the mystery out of the effects and techniques of going to some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Richard Gere. Now last week, we had the little matter of an email. I'm going to be working on a new short film in June, and I was hoping that you could show some creative things I could do with just my camera. Thanks a bunch, Charlie. So this week, I shall fill it your cup to overflowing with information. Not really, but we got a few cool things. So first I'm gonna show you how to turn your tripod into a dolly or jib sort of situation thingy. And how to get dates with hot chicks. This technique couldn't be any simpler. All you have to do is lower one of the legs of your tripod. That's it. Can you believe it? <laughs> so now you can use this new limited amount of motion to create some fake dolly and jib moves. And although it doesn't seem like much, if used properly, you can create some pretty cool shots. Now granted, this isn't a lot, but if you don't have the money for the real stuff, this is a really good starting point to start getting some good moves into your shots. I forgot what I was going to say next. I'm so sorry. Next, I wanted to talk about actual camera angles. Telling your story isn't just about dialogue and acting. A lot goes into setting the tone of your scene and pushing your ideas along. One of the greatest tools you have at your disposal is the camera. Where you put your camera and how you set your composition will say a lot. And right now, I'm just gonna give you a few examples. First is the high angle, which I've used in the past to try to make it seem like my character was smaller, as if we were looking down on them. Hopefully, this would make the audience feel like my character was weaker and not one that could handle the situation they were being thrust into. Then there's the low angle, which I've used for the opposite effect. With the low angle, the character appears to be bigger than the audience. We must look up to them, which will convey power and superiority. Next is the Dutch angle, which is when you have your composition off its horizon. I'll use this one to convey the idea that something is wrong. I remember in one film I did, I started with the framing level, but then as the character's dialogue became more disturbing, I shifted to a slight Dutch angle to let the visuals assist in setting that tone. Then there's the OTS shot, which stands for the over the shoulder shot. Now I typically just use this one because I think it makes for a more interesting shot, but I have used it before to try to get my audience to feel a certain way. For instance, you might want to shoot one of your actors with an OTS, that way part of our view of them is blocked, and it might cause us to feel a separation or that they're hiding something. Then when you flip around, film the other actor without the OTS, leaving nothing in between them and the audience to hopefully push the idea that there's nothing to hide and we can trust them. I've also used an extreme OTS to make it feel like the character was trapped and had nowhere to go. But the angle isn't the only thing you can manipulate with your camera. The focal length can be another great tool. The focal length being how much you're zoomed in or out. Now if you use a shorter focal length, meaning you're zoomed out, the background will seem further from your actor and the room more open. But if you use a longer focal length, meaning you're zoomed in, the background will seem closer to your actor and the room much smaller. You can use a longer focal length to get a claustrophobic effect and again make it feel like your actor is trapped with nowhere to escape to. Then you can use the shorter focal length to get the exact opposite effect, opening the room with plenty of places to go. Then there's the wide shot versus the close-up. Now I've seen a lot of short films where they kept on the wide shot during a very dramatic moment when I really wanted to get in there to see the actor's eyes. Don't forget your close-up is a great tool to help you heighten the drama and let us have a more intimate encounter with your actor. Now all these angles are just to show what you can do. You can use these exact same angles a ton of different ways for different effects. The point is to get creative and learn to use your camera to help better tell your story. TuneUp is the number one selling plugin for iTunes and Windows Media Player that offers must-have digital music management and discovery features for any music fan. 
and offering a very easy to use interface, TuneUp integrates with both iTunes and Windows Media Player. Utilizing waveform recognition, TuneUp is able to identify and provide information for tracks in the music library that have inaccurate or completely absent tags associated with them. TuneUp also fills in missing album artwork, making CoverFlow useful again. In addition to providing a better way for users to organize their music libraries, TuneUp also provides a wealth of music discovery features. At launch, TuneUp will automatically provide you with a chronological list of concerts based on the artists in your musical collection and your location. TuneUp will also display music videos, artist bios, merch, and recommendations all based on what you're listening to. To find out more about TuneUp, visit www.tuneupmedia.com. Logo. A while back, we posted some videos with the sound stripped from it, then challenged you to replace all the audio from scratch and try to make us laugh. Well, we've been through all the submissions, and here are the two that had us in tears. I don't like your new haircut. What? Say it in my face. If you dare. Yeah. Yeah. You want to fight for it? I will fight you for it. Ready? Ready. Good game. Oh yeah? Well, I did like you. Till you said that. Yeah. Yeah! We should fight each other. Agreed, without fists! Ready? Wait! <laughs> Free shot. How about it? Mm, nope. <laughs> so good job, and thanks to everyone who submitted. We enjoyed watching every single one of them. But keep a lookout, because we have more fantastic stuff like this on the horizon. Squarespace is a publishing system for anyone looking to build a blog, portfolio, or any other kind of website. And Squarespace, being the amazing team that they are, have built Trying Films, an incredible new site layout that we have just launched today. So now I can go in and adjust size, color, and positioning of all the elements in my site without having to know any coding at all. And they've made it insanely easy to keep all my content up to date as well. So check out tryinfilms.com and leave a comment in the news section to let us know what you think. Then jump over to squarespace.com and get your site started. And if you do, don't forget to represent by using the promo code FILMRIOT so you can get 10% off the life of your order. Alas, my lovelies, that is the end. But if you want to holla at your boy, you can email me at filmwriterrevision 3com You can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Ryan underscore Conley. And of course, there's the Facebook. And I say something super clever for you to be like, oh, Facebook, I'm going to go sign up because that was clever. See you next Thursday. That's simple! I know, I just said it was simple. <laughs> right? Right? Easier than changing my diaper, right? It's really good. Oh, I'm your host, Richard Greer. <laughs>